Hey everyone, welcome back for another episode. Today we're going to show you how to create a payment request. And we'll also take a look at what's in our prerequisite script in Postman. Be sure to check out our developer community, also in the links below where you can ask anything about FinTech and chat with other developers. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe below. So let's get started. Here we go, Kyle. Hey, Kyle. Hey, Drew. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, as he said, today we're going to create a payment request. Uh, as well as look at the pre-request script in Postman, um, which is set up for you so you can just start testing. Uh, in our other videos, we have all the information that you need to download the Postman collection and get started. And I'm gonna show you where to go for the pre-request script. And just take a look at it. When you go to the Postman collection that you download, all you need to do is go to the high level folder right here, the folder title, the API, rapid API collection, and then go to pre-request -requ script here. These, This is also in the rest of the folders, but it'll be empty. Uh, so you'll make sure to want to go to the high level title folder. And as you can see is here are all the uh, uh, variables set up um, for your values that will eventually populate in the environment. And so I just want to show you um, on our documentation that basically uh, will share all of the values um, and, val and variables uh, so you can understand how the request is set up. And then if you go to request signatures, here are all the definitions of the different variables and the, the calculation of the signature. So going back to the pre-request script, uh, as you can see, here is the timestamp uh, that was in the variable, uh, our salt as well. And then you have the uh, body string that will be uh, put together. And then the rapid secret key, which you will take from client portal, as well as the, the URL, uh, which is, um, again, in the environment here, sandbox.rapid.net is which were sandbox API dot rapid dot net, which is, uh, the URL that we are, uh, calling to, uh, for the endpoint. And then the rapid access key, again, you'll grab that from client portal and input that here. We show you that in the video and that's basically all you need to do. Here's the, lastly, the rapid signature put together with the hash and uh, the base 64. Um, and then that will go uh, and set the global variables within Postman. So when you go to each API call, specifically today, we'll be doing uh, the create payment by card. The, the values will be in each header line here. And again, we'll populate in the sandbox environment. So uh, that's uh, all you need to do is just input the access key and the, the signature and you're ready to go. Um, so I'm going to head over to back to our documentation and look at the payment object. And we will be doing the create payment API call for today here again has all the values and fields for you to understand what's in each payload as well as the response. I'm going to go to the create, create payment section. And uh, just to uh, talk about this a little bit, we are doing the create payment API call, which the the, the merchant or the user will will put in their details uh, for a card. This would require uh, PCI certification. So you'll be sure to look at our documentation and uh, look at the, the definitions of that and, and what that entails. But uh, we also have rapid checkout in which we do explain the 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 request signature, as well as how to create a checkout page where the 
the values or the, the personal information will be input on the web page and that uh, again, clients do not need uh, PCI certification uh, for using that. So for that link will also be in the description. I'm going to go back to our API call here and go to the uh, request body. Um, here, we just have a simple card payment type uh, in Singapore. And then again, this is the required fields, which uh, is personal uh, and sensitive information. This is of course, just test information today. Our complete payment URL, of course, are they're just examples. Uh, which I will edit. And then uh, capturing the card. And so I'm going to change the amount to 105. And then we're going to send the request. Uh, and then here we go. And so this is the payment ID that you can grab to complete the payment, as well as uh, some of the customer information. Here is the um, payment method, the card directly linked with the, the payment method ID. And so we're going to move into client portal and find our payment. And so here it is 105 uh, Singapore dollar. This is the customer, the payment ID, as well as the uh, e-wallet and, and the customer ID linked here. If I move over, the status is active. The different statuses are also within our documentation and our create payment. If you go down to the, actually it'll be in uh, payment object. Here we go, right here, there we go. Uh, and so it'll be down where uh, during, uh, in this field status. So it'll, these are the different statuses of the payment active uh, will be uh, basically awaiting the completion of the payment. And so I'm gonna show you how to do that in client portal, but I'll do that in it with the uh, postman. So you could basically chain go to change status here and com complete reject or, or cancel. And so uh, that would uh, uh, change the status of the payment, but I'm going to go here to search up complete pay uh, payment. And basically all you need to put in is the payment ID. And so as I'm going to go back here, here it is. I'll copy that and then paste it in here. Send. And awesome, that was a success. And I'll go back to client portal. And so as you can see, this is closed and it's a completed payment. And, uh, and so there we go. Um, that is a create payment request uh, by card. Nice. That was really, really cool, Kyle. Sorry, I was, I was looking at client portal there. I wasn't even paying attention that we were, we were ending here. But thanks for sharing that. That's really, really cool. Um, especially the way you showed how you could view it in the client portal as well as the, uh, the postman and and make the active and then also close it. So, um, thanks again. Great demo. Um, we're going to come up with more of these. We really want to get more into the weeds with these type of videos, but uh, showing how uh, to create a payment, uh, I think is a great place to start based on the other series of videos that we've done. And we'll just keep getting deeper and deeper. So thank you. Thanks, Drew. Uh, just to wrap up, uh, be sure and check out community.rapid.net. Uh, you can ask questions, you can find uh, solutions that other developers have provided around uh, topics for our APIs, or if you just want to talk about fintech, we also have the docs, which uh, 
Kyle spent some time in here today, docs.rapid.net. Uh, you can see use cases and guides as well as uh, the reference guides. So you can go in and see the API reference. Uh, and if you ever have a question, you can reach out to us here you know, in a comment below. You can uh, go to our Twitter, it's Rapid Payments, use hashtag RapidBytes. Uh, and Kyle and I would be happy to engage with you there or in our community. Um, and yeah, thanks again, Kyle, and look forward to doing the next video with you. Awesome.